Welcome back to the Stoop Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo, and I am actually back on the Stoop. I am back home from my uh, my long ass vacation in Spain, and I am here to talk to you guys today about the match preview. We're not getting to you yet right now. They hate you. Uh, we're going to be talking about the match preview. Southampton at home against Leeds United. So you know I had to bring in the heel of the stoop, the bane of all Leeds Live. United fans' existence, live on the stoop. But um, very good to see you, Najee, and uh, I'm sure the stoop fan, the stoop Welcome crew. Welcome back, Lolo. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm sure the stoop crew is going to enjoy m- talking shit to you in the comment section. But we're talking Leeds United right now, and I'm back in America. So um, this is uh, the American Leeds United team nowadays, right? right. They've got so many Americans on the team. They do. They got the uh, all-law outlaw as their coach. So it's time to crack an American beer instead of all those Spanish beers that I have been drinking. I nearly drank them out of house and home. uh, but Or Casa y Casa? I don't know. (laughs) Cheers to you guys, Leeds. John, why don't you have this one? Thanks. There's John in the background. I already have one cracked. There you go. Cheers, John, to to Leeds United and their American fan base and players. That being said, let's get to it. Leeds United won their first match against Wolverhampton. Uh, home opener, huge. Yeah. Went down early, early. Yeah. Found a way to keep a clean sheet the rest of the match and get two goals, get the three points. Southampton went up early against Tottenham. Found a way to then lose 4-1 Big time. Um, yeah. uh, without Kane or Son scoring a goal. Yeah. Crazy. So where does this put us right now thinking about, okay, uh, Leeds United got to go up to St. Mary's and, and uh, you know, uh, not as forgiving environment as Ellen Road is for them. But what do you think about this? What are we going to be looking at? Are, are all the new signings going to play? Is Dan James back? Is um, Luke Ayling around? Uh, I, I, I know this is weird that I'm asking Najee to tell me all about this, but you guys will let us know what you think about that. But Najee, well, you're our stats man. Let us know no, what's no, going on. Don't forget on. last year, both these teams. So they finished 15 and 17th in the league, and they both struggled defensively. Now, Southampton, they're struggling big time. Why? They have, they're relying on youngsters and Ward Prowse. That's all, you know. Uh, they have Armstrong in attack, Walcott is still injured. Um, and like I said, relying on youngsters. They lost Brozier to you of guys. Course, uh, of is course. Che Adams still there? He's, no, he's not, he's not, no. No, he's not Che Adams, he's he, not playing. He didn't play the last game. So, Leeds United, on the other hand, are missing few players. But I don't think the players that are missing, except for Dallas, that that's injured yeah. long term, is gonna be back into the squad quickly. Yeah. Because Aronson had a great preseason and a great game against Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was instrumental in the second goal that they scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rodrigo had a, also a good preseason. Yeah. Scored the goals. Or scored the goal against Wolves as well. And your captain Bamford now is leading the line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because there's been talk about Sinisera being fit. Uh, but I believe he plays out on the wing, and so he would start over who? Jack Harrison, but Jack Harrison was man of the match. Man of the match, and then the only thing, as a left back, I think Firpo might come back into the side. He's injured. He's injured right now, um, and maybe Leon Cooper replaces Cock when he comes back, but that's about it. Leeds United have their full squad for that game. Yeah, because they got uh, Mark Roca now in the middle. And Tyler um, Adams. And Tyler Adams in the middle. They looked all right. They looked all right. I got to yeah. say, like, especially you got you to gotta, you gotta realize, first match of the season at home, you give up a goal in six minutes right. after being nearly relegated yes. down to the last second of the Premier League season. Yep. To go down in the sixth minute to a goal like that, a goal that, that well, really made them look silly. The ball right. was bouncing over, right. and it, it was like well, – that's reminded when you, you of defensively. Older, older lead states. That's when you struggle defensively. So know? how did Wolves not score more is, is the question. Both, they, they must have tightened up. Both goalkeepers had great saves. Melier really had good saves, especially in the second half. And Saw, although made some mistakes, he also had some great saves as well. Yeah. So that's why the game you know, ended with only 2-1, to be honest. But both teams had some chances. 
Uh, it's going to be an attacking game. Don't get me wrong. And since both teams are not uh, tied up defensively, we're going to see some goals in that game. Yeah. Sorry, there's a bird that's trying to drink my beer right now. Um, I'm not used to these uh, American so birds. Uh, you usually have to worry about the seagulls eating your sandwiches in Spain, but this, this bird is an alcoholic. Um, John just poured him some beer. I, I don't know. Wish we had another camera that get a shot of that. But, um, yeah. So, Southampton, to me, like, second week of the season, who, which team is in, in, is in better form? You know, it's only one game, but it is, is in a, which team is more put together? Yeah. And Look. right now I feel like Leeds United are. Leeds United yes. have a ton of work to do. They yes. have a shit ton of work to do. Yes. And they need to be ecstatic that they got three points from their first match. Yes. This is essentially an easier game. Right. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Try to sign Rafinha. Try, try to find a way to pay for him. Let me finish. Try to find a way to pay for him. Let me finish and I'll get back to you. He'll be back. Let me finish and I'll get back to you. He'll be back. Don't worry, him and Lewandowski will be back with another club. Hey, you don't want to see me right now. You don't want Find to. the money. Find the money to sign. My thoughts on Southampton and, Le and Leeds at St. Mary's. Uh, you know, in the past, uh, Southampton has kind of had Leeds' number. I think uh, Southampton has won four of their last five at home against Leeds. But this season, I don't, I don't see that happening. I, I, I see this being a very different Leeds team uh, and also a very different Southampton team. This is a team that I have picked to be relegated um, and uh, nothing that they, you know, in their last match did anything to change my mind. Um, I think Leeds has a lot of things to work on. Um, they did pull a, a, a nice victory against my Wolves. Uh, but the amount of space to, uh, to allow the, that they allowed the Wolves to operate is a little bit troubling. Their passing was a little bit troubling, but I think with a week uh, under their belt, they can most certainly um, kind of tie up those loose ends and, and take care of Southampton. Uh, Scoreline, I don't think it's going to, I don't think we're going to have a lot of scoring here. I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going 1 0 leads. What were we talking about? Uh, so I, I about uh, about Southampton. Yeah, I just want to say that there are reports right now from Southampton that the players are getting frustrated with Hassan Hootel's methods at Southampton. That can blow. I up. had him as one of the first to be sacked. And let's be honest, we spoke about it on Happy Hour, I think a couple weeks ago. Most of us had Southampton yeah. going down. Yep. You know, um, so I I think that's gonna be the case. Leeds United, I think they're going to have some firepower off the bench. Dan James might come off the bench. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, in the second half, you can have five subs now. So yeah. uh, you, you could definitely know he's going to come in in the second half. Uh, and don't forget that they were missing Calvin Phillips most of last season yeah. with injury. Yeah. And Bamford wasn't there. Yeah. So they got, they got Bamford back, their striker, their captain. And... Um, I have them winning that game. You have Leeds United winning. I have them winning that game. I mean, game. you should, I think. Yeah. I mean, that, that's I, I do as well. Spoiler alert. Away from home. What, what is your two score one. prediction? 2-1. Two two that's one. what I have. Yep. I have 2-1. And I have James Ward-Prowse with a free kick uh, beauty. I have another nugget for you. Bamford is going to score his first goal since December 5th, 2001. There you go. Patty Bamford, sir. Patrick Bamford, by the way. I can call him Patty. He told me he was okay. Uh, John's met him. Um, yeah. Um, so Patrick Bamford to score the his first, first goal. goal. His first goal. Or the first goal. His first goal. His first goal. Since December 5th, 2021. Right. I'll take it. I, against I, Brentford. I, yeah, I think Leeds United is just, they don't have everything figured out. They're not, uh, an, they're not this flashy, amazing thing that we saw when Bielsa brought them up. Um, but I feel like they're in a better position right now than Southampton. Southampton are muddy. Yeah. And, and, and I think, yeah, the first goal will really kick off the match. Of, and right. it can go downhill from there. Right. So give it up uh, for the Americans on that team, by the way. We do like them. Um, let's go, Brendan Aronson. I'd like to see you getting 
fully fit, getting that form in to be ready for the World Cup. It's going to be fun. All right. Um, what do you guys think? Put your, put your uh, predictions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join us for happy hour later tonight. As well, we will have more videos coming out with predictions about other games. But, you know, Leeds fans, they don't care about anything else but Leeds. But Southampton fans, y'all can watch. All right, peace from Brooklyn. Thanks, Najee.